my lookings. All right, so for this video, I will be um, showing a technique or way that I would use sometimes to diamond farm. And this way is really good for people who have multipliers. If you don't have multipliers, you can still do this way, but I think that you might be better off doing perhaps since the island, which might be my next video. Ooh. Um, all right, so for this diamond farming routine, as you probably know, with the multipliers, you level up. And when you level up, you get um, times two the normal amount of diamonds. So what I suggest is that you would play Royal High, like, you know, actual day at high school. And then you would take all your stuff. I'm going to decorate my locker for the summer. Let's make it yellow like a sun. All right. And then just attend classes, and in between classes, um, I would suggest that you collect diamonds. I suggest that you collect the more valuable diamonds first, though, so that way when you're done with the school day or in the middle of the school day, they will respawn and you have collected them twice or three times in one day instead of one. Um, yeah, and then I suggest that you skip breakfast and lunch if you want to diamond farm, but if you're just trying to level up, then you can do breakfast and lunch. But if you're trying to diamond farm with the multipliers, um, I suggest that you skip breakfast and lunch as well. As diamonds, eat those. So, um, yeah, in between classes, breakfast and lunch, make sure that you collect all the diamonds. And then um, make sure that you go to the classes because when you do, obviously, it gives you XP. And I level up around two to three times a day when I play Royal High um, when I do this technique. So this definitely, definitely works um, for diamond farming and leveling up as well. Um, so yeah, if you have the multipliers, this is a really amazing way to level up and diamond farm as well and i will be ha i will be posting another video sometime after this maybe like an hour or 30 minutes after um how to diamond farm without the game passes um i will explain that one so um yeah so most of the time i level i level up two days two times a day in Royal High School, not like actual human days. Um, so that would give me around um, like 3,600 diamonds. It was sometimes I would level up three times a day, but not all the time. Um, so this way really works well. And in between classes, if you do diamond farm in between classes, then that gets you even more diamonds and it works really, really well. There is literally diamonds all over this campus and all over this map. Um, so um, let's go to baking class once it starts. And I will show you guys how much the book check gets you and how much the, um, like if you get an A, gets you. So when you uh, make sure you have all your books though because when it does the book check, if you have your book, it gives you XP. And obviously that helps you level up a lot faster. And in between school days, uh, at the very end of the day, your energy should be very low or at zero. So make sure you go sleep, and that's normally how I level up three times a day. I go sleep after the school day. Um, keep repeating that over and over. And this this uh, hack or routine isn't as boring either because it's like you're going to classes and you're doing stuff, you know. All right, but let's go to baking class. And as you can see, I am currently at level 274. So let's get this pink one. This pink one's beautiful. All right. All right, we got our delicious cupcakes. Yum. All right, so as you can see, I got some XP from the book check. And then when baking ends, um, it should give me an A since I finished, and during baking, it doesn't end right away if you finish, so I just continue diamond farming, and the time is collecting up all the diamonds that I see. And make sure that you also go to PE class, because that one also gives you a whole lot of diamonds, PE class does. Uh, let's see here, arts, PE, alright. There's still a good way, so I will go into the chemistry lab, and you can do this anytime or when you go to chemistry, but there is diamonds in the water, and there is a lot of diamonds in these um, balcony things. 
I'm not sure what to call them, but yeah. And look at that, I got some XP for getting an A in baking. So hopefully, um, my swimming class is over. I will level it up and gotten one thousand eight hundred diamonds. And if you guys just have um the times two diamond uh, multiplier or just the times four, this um farming routine still works really well because I did this um when I had only the times two diamond um multiplier. So yeah, this works really well. And let's go to swimming class. Now, swimming class and PE, they don't really have a book check, but you can still get XP for getting an A on those classes, so make sure you go attend those classes. And I am wearing a lot of outfit hats on my current outfit, so make sure you go check out my outfit hack video. It will appear somewhere on the screen right now. Probably in one of the top corners. Uh, I'm not going to say left or right because I have no clue if it's different on your screen. I still have to um, look at that figure that out but yeah let's just continue doing swimming class and we'll, we'll probably level up at the end of it all right so we did get an a and we <gasps> oh my goodness look at our level all right so um we will definitely level up in our class and there is something in our class that i'm pretty sure everyone knows but i'm not sure if everyone knows if that even made sense but i'm pretty sure that we all know the diamonds behind the window so definitely um a glitch through there during art class and i have a little hack for you guys during art class as well um w during art class um if you just pay one square correctly then you get an a so what i do during art class is i just you know paint one square and then i go um continue diamond farming and I will show you right now, because our class is starting. Alright, so let's paint one square. Let's go with this gray one. Oh, and look at that. We just leveled up. Amazing. So I'll paint that one square in the corner. And we'll probably get an A. And now let's glitch through these windows. Now, I seem like everyone glitched through these windows. And I understand because it's like right here, everyone sees them. But I'm telling you guys, these windows are a thousand times easier to, to glitch through. Like, trust me. You just fly here. Um, here, let me turn down this real quick. You just fly here, go in first person, look behind you, and fly backwards. And you can glitch through so much easier than these windows. I have seen people struggle literally for like 10 minutes trying to glitch through these. When it's so easy to glitch through these windows. All right, so let's collect these doimons. So yeah, it's super easy to glitch, to glitch through those windows, whether you're using speed or not, because you guys saw I turned my speed down while I was glitching through those windows. And um, a lot of times after our class is done, if I painted a square, um, I would and I would exit, but for some reason it's not letting me. So, I guess I will just hang out around here and see you guys when our class ends. Alright, next class is PE, and PE has officially started. Alright, welcome to PE class. And let's complete the race. And obviously, make sure you go to PE class, because it does give you extra diamonds as well when you complete it, which is amazing. And it also gives you XP when you get an A. And remember, swimming in PE class doesn't give you book chats, but that's okay. Because um, it can give you extra diamonds. Swimming can give you extra diamonds too, but not all the time. When you fall down, there are diamonds in the pool that are open to grab, but not all the time. Um, like, you might be too far away for it from it. Um, or if you just don't fall down, which is also amazing. But let's collect these diamonds and then go to the lighthouse and... Uh, make sure you guys save up for the summer shop because, as I said, all the diamonds together are around 165,000 diamonds. So, guys, make sure you go save up your diamonds to buy the stuff in the summer shop. And let me know what type of items you want me to do a giveaway for because I did them in my last giveaway. And Isabella 2008, um, great, ha was it great? Um, I think it was great. Um, I, I had to look, but she won the giveaway. And let me know what other giveaways you want me to do for you guys to win as well. 
because I'm pretty sure that people out there really want to do giveaways. And the next class is chemistry. I'm probably going to have time for this class and this class only that I'm going to have to end this video. But I might be able to sleep. We'll see. But um, I want to share a quick little item that I think is super underrated. People don't understand how pretty the seashell hair clips are. It's these ones right here with the little pearls. Like, they look super crystally, and they're, they're actually really detailed. And I feel like people should rate them higher than they are. Um, I definitely understand the pricing um, in the shop for them. I think they're 10k in the shop. Actually, let me go check real quick. I'm talking so fast. I'm so sorry. In the shop, they're only... Alright, well in the shop they're only 3k, but I think that they should be priced at least a little more, maybe at least to 5k, because these are really detailed and they're extremely pretty, and I think that people should, um, not, like, price them so low, because I think that they're really pretty and underrated. Alright, so that's probably it for this, um, class that we're gonna have time for, so I'm going to go to, um my apartment real quick and sleep we have time to teleport there so let's go alrighty guys quick life hack before i sleep um in the apartment um as you probably know when you sleep um it goes down pretty you know pretty slow and if you turn all the lights off i've actually known this for a while now i think i've known it for about a month but um, i think i've shared it once with you guys i'm not sure how much i shared it with you guys but if you turn all the lights off um, the sleep time goes by much faster, as you can see right there. And I will time lapse this because no one wants to just listen to me snoring. And sorry if you heard that. I am playing with a squishy frog. Um, yeah, sorry if that's disturbing. Um, time lapse. Alright, guys.